Good morning, guys. How are we doing? Welcome to the Morning JB Show. I'm your host, James Borman. <laughs> are coming through please do drop a like please do comment as well in the box for me let me know if this resonates with you let me know if this helps you let me know where you're from give a little bit of interaction let's have some communication in our uh, in our little community so how was your weekend hope it was good hope you're focused and ready for the week um, if you didn't already know this time next week we are starting our next five day challenge it's a bit spontaneous but we're putting that on last minute um, we weren't due to put one on till towards the end of the month but with everything that was going on, we thought it'd be a really good focus group for you to come and work uh, in the group and come and do some great work on yourself, right? Um, please don't come in if you're gonna waste our time and energy and not show up. We're looking for people that are gonna show up and meet us halfway. Okay, it is free. There's no hidden costs or catches. Um, and, it, and because I'm giving it away free, all I ask is for your time and your energy uh, back. So listen, um, I wanna talk about focus and kind of like, uh, how it relates to your mental state or your emotional state or your physical state and I want you to think about that one time or the times that you go onto social media and when you go onto social media you read a particular person's negative comment or post um, and then you read a couple more and then suddenly the news is flashing up all of the time with negative news um, and you know and some of your mates are a bit negative and it, what tends to happen is what I found quite often having spoken to many men and worked with many men and my own experiences of it it tends to put you in a state of negativity or feeling down and sorrow and and, and like the world's doom and gloom and I kind of find that when you focus and you're around positive people and you're doing things that really make you happy or being around the people that make you happy, that affects your mood in a really positive way. It makes you happy, makes you feel fulfilled. Um, we had a little picnic in our garden yesterday, which was just a really beautiful moment. It was nothing special, it was nothing different, but it was just a really beautiful moment where we were all getting on and, and we were all just talking, having a laugh. And that really created a beautiful state in terms of my own mental well-being of feeling like really content and happy now if you look for sadness or negativity or self-pity or victim mentality it's not hard to do it's not hard to get yourself into that state you know you only have to look at those social media posts that i talk about you only have to look at the news you only have to look at people's other people's mentalities for it to start affecting you and you replicate re replicating that and so often what you follow, often what you follow or focus on, you end up following. And this is where I feel so many men get caught out. And I often talk about surrounding yourself in a positive state. That means being around role models or people that inspire you, that give you great inspiration, that make you feel confident about what you're doing. And this is where that peer pressure culture sometimes I think comes, comes in. Like when you're trying to improve yourself, all your mates are like, hey, what, what are you doing that for? Why are you going to the gym? Why are you listening to that guy? Why are, you, why are you doing all of that? And then it makes you question what you're doing. And sometimes they're luring you to the pub and you actually just want to go home to see your family or you want to go to the gym. And that only is ever because those guys probably are jealous of what you're trying to achieve or you're doing what they ever wanted to do. So they're trying to get you back down on their level, right? So then you have a conflict of states that you turn into. You're like, oh, I want to be better, but how can I, like, these are my friends, but these, like, these guys have no interest in doing it. And you, you're conflicted by emotions, right? And that can affect your outcomes. And what I'm trying to get at is that anything that, when you, what you focus on, you follow. So if you're focusing on all of these things that are negative, of all of these things that are distracting, of all these things that make you feel self-pity and low self-esteem and other bullshit that goes on around the world, how are you ever gonna consistently change the way that you think, change those habits, change that environment, change the way that you do things? 
because becoming the best version of yourself requires you to follow a different path. Okay, it requires you to be able to focus on new elements of life, on new outcomes, on new achievements. So when you look, look at yourself in the mirror and say, why am I not where I want to be? Could it be because you're focusing on the wrong environment, the wrong people, the wrong influences, the wrong role models? Are you focusing on past experiences that you're dictating your future by? This is how I've always lived my life. It's never going to change. But that's just the state that you've got into. That's that self-image of yourself that you've created. If I based my life on my past, I'd be an arsehole. Selfish, unthoughtful, arsehole. But you have to kind of forgive what you've done in the past and kind of forgive the states that you've been in and forgive the things that you did focus on back there to be able to break free and get your breakthrough. And when you get your breakthrough, you can then build that momentum that I talked about yesterday, the passion, the meaning. Jesse, get here! Getting a new dog. So those are the things that we must focus on. What you focus, you follow on. Ask yourself, when you're focusing on something, whether it's a piece of news, whether it's a social media post, whether it's one of the things that your mates down the pub are telling you, whether it's what your past is saying, whether it's what your overthinking brain chip <laughs> uh, is thinking. Is it benefiting you? Are you following a positive future, a positive path? If not, I suggest that we do something about that or you do something about that. Because in terms of creating the best version of yourself, the things that you focus on, they've got to rise you up. They've got to be positive. They've got to be influential. They've got to create a better state in your mind. Otherwise, you're just going to stay in that fucking hamster wheel going round and round and round. Desperate for a change, but never quite getting it because you're focusing on the wrong shit. Five-day challenge this time next week. See you then.